This video was inspired by a bunch of things, and one of those things was white racists leaving me a note that said my lost phone was by the same reservoir in which they detained me at last time for picking up trash. In other words, they're trying to get me to go back there looking for my phone, looking stressed out so they could take me back to the psych ward. The Santa Clara County Sheriff Department is run by a blonde white feminist, and there's a bunch of white people who are doing this from the Santa Clara County Sheriff Department. Some of them are bald, some are blonde. I don't know if they're racist or not, but I personally do not think that's a coincidence. It is intensely saddening and unnerving that there are people who could possibly hear my story, including my arguments against eugenics, and not connect scientific racism to the reason why I'm not given my credit. The reason why institutional racism exists is because of scientific racism. Scientists got together with their racist allies in high and low places on record time and time again. There are so many examples I do not know when to start or where to begin. We could talk about David Duke. We could talk about Francis Galton and Margaret Sanger. Samuel Cartwright. Scientific racism and eugenics goes hand in hand. And eugenics on record is the self-direction of humanity by white people, Jews, and Asians. Where does eugenics take place historically? India, Europe, China, right? The one-child policies. America, England, Germany. So on record, historically, the same types of people that we all know couldn't possibly be the best martial artists are the same people who claim to be the best martial artists who are harassing me because they cannot beat me, and who historically are the scientific racists. Think about it. What is nationalism if not eugenics play, eugenicist plaything? Let's do it because it's best for everybody. It's best for the country. It's best for our people. What are Nazis if not national socialists? So to say that you're doing it for national security is racist. It is scientific racism, applied scientific racism, social Darwinism, and eugenics. For those of you who don't know, social Darwinism is simply applying Darwinism to humans with social policy. And psychiatrists, when you read Adam Cohen, you know, Harvard graduate, graduated Harvard Law, Adam Cohen's book, Imbeciles, The Supreme Court, American Eugenics and the Sterilization of Carrie Buck. You see that America never stopped its eugenics. You see that psychiatrists were some of the main eugenics, eugenicists, and eugenics took place mainly in the mental health sector. That is where they decided people like Carrie Buck were morons, imbeciles, what they used to call them, and that they shouldn't be allowed to reproduce. So almost 100,000 people, going on 100,000 people, were sterilized on record in this country since about 1908. And it's funny how you see the obelisks, right? Reproduction, Plato. Rome, the Ten Tables, eugenics, right? Controlling reproduction and cattle cults is a recurring theme. And how people connect breeding cattle and breeding dogs to breeding people. And how to this day we still have dog shows and horse shows where we look at their features and decide which one should win. 
And of course, these shows are largely attended by non-black audiences. I think we all can agree on that. <laughs> so basically what is going on is people who are hoping for their white prince to sweep them off their feet, whether they're female, gay, or males hoping that some white guy will win the day for the white race are trying to deny me my rightful place. Because compared to me, all racism aside, they are a repulsive, lowly, short little maggot that can't. And I am able. They are not. So they want to quote unquote, kill the noise, you know, the sound of a righteous man of God telling you the truth. They want to drug me into submission, silence, and cowardice for my courage and conviction. They cannot do what I've done. Imagine some white boy, some Asian, trying to do what I've done, saying, I'll give $100,000 to whoever can beat me. <laughs> Probably less than 24 hours, somebody would be paid. That is something only a black man can successfully do. Let's face it, Nahum 3, 8 through 10 is true. Cush and Egypt were her boundless strength. Now they weren't talking about one big strong man as those who value the flesh would try to confuse you about. They are talking about a spiritual strength with black people that is more intense than anywhere else. Thus, they were used as an example. Cush and Egypt. And then in Amos 9-7, it confirms it. When it says that the Ethiopians or the Cushites are the same as the Jews. So therefore, the Cushite Jews are the most blessed by God. And you see it play out mind, body, and soul. Is it a coincidence that the Ebos are called the Jews of Africa? And we are the most educated demographic in America. And the top boxers and fighters and martial artists are of Ebo descent. Ali, Tyson, myself, John Jones... Cormier, need I go on? Mind, body, and soul. In the Bible, it said we have superior spirit. Your own American, what was it called? What was I think it was Department of Education Statistics? I have in my other video. Shows that around 2000, when they did it, Nigerians from Nigeria were more educated and did better in school than any other demographic. And again, right there in the New York Times, we see another race. The Jews say the same thing. Yes, Nigerians from Nigeria are more educated and do better in school than any other group of people. Is this a coincidence that the Bible beforehand said this? And why white America was trying to pretend that the Kushites and the Jews are white. The Bible made it clear that they were black. That they are black. While America was trying to pretend that slavery proves white supremacy or something. In the Bible it tells the story of God's chosen people taken as slaves. It doesn't mean that they were meant to be ruled over by you forever. It means that they are being punished and God chose the most despicable devil slime he could find on this planet to punish them. And who the fuck do you think that is? You fucking lying piece of shit that won't give me my credit. You fucking racist dog. If you're going to be racist, at least deal in the facts. Oh, wait, you can't do that because then you're a maggot, pale, fucking Ninevite dog. At this point, you might ask yourself, well, why the harsh words if I'm a prince of light? It's called righteous indignation and rebuking unrepentant sinners. If your brother sins, rebuke him. 
And if he repents, forgive him. It is very clear to me that there are many of you sinning. Some of you do so almost unwittingly. You don't want to do it. You don't exactly grasp the seriousness of what's going on. But you're sinning anyway. And some of you are consumed with jealousy. And some of you are just affiliated with the military. And I don't really know how you feel about it. And they see what I'm doing as a threat to national security. Ever heard the term social security? Well, does social security automatically refer to money? <laughs> Capitalism for you, right? Or is there another way in which that phrase, that term can be applied? What is going on is about the social security of whites, Asians, and other non-blacks. Now, it is about that, but it is not as simple as that. How many of you non-blacks would like to be known as a cheating little dog that made other races go extinct by exploiting them, ripping them off, cheating them out of their rightful place, you know, using coercion, death threats, blackmail, doing unspeakable, horrible things to people. And how can one be proud of being elevated because they're part of a race of cheaters? I mean, come on. I, for one, am completely ashamed to be half white. And I never thought I'd be this ashamed but when they started trying to deny me my rightful place and using psychiatry, when you have countless white people themselves saying psychiatry is a Nazi science, and countless white people themselves fought in World War II against the Nazis. I mean, the kind of hypocrisy I have seen, the way that the racist whites push around everybody else, it's unbelievable. You are a scientific racist. I don't care that you're not in the Ku Klux Klan, that you're not a bald head neo-Nazi. You are a scientific, racist, shrink piece of shit. How dare you even show your fucking face? How dare you? Much less spread your pernicious, appalling, reprehensible, less than fucking pathetic philosophy. You people are scum. You are pencil dick, pale, slime. You hid in caves for a reason. Because you are inferior. For you to turn around and pretend you're superior demands that every man, woman, and child of every race in the world scream together that whites, Jews, and white Asians are fucking inferior, pathetic, complex-having little bitches who cheated people and use their complex to inspire them to invent new things. Mm, mm, mm. Because you were the lazy pussies that couldn't hack it. You had to invent new things just to survive. And when you manage to do it, you want to pretend you're superior? Shut the fuck up. The fuck up.